my dear friends welcome to rajashekar classes on applied data science with python this is lecture number 378 in this lecture i will continue my discussion on rbf kernel before understanding this lecture i request you to go through my previous lecture that is lecture number 377 let's assume sigma equal to 0.1 What is sigma square? Sigma square equal to zero point zero one. Two into sigma square. This is sigma square value, isn't it? Just I am plotting this uh, radial basis function. If I plot, just compare this plot with previous example. What is this value? This is minus one. What is this value? This is plus one. If I compare this particular graph with sigma equal to one graph what's happening for sigma equal to 1 this is the graph for sigma equal to 1 this is for sigma equal to 1 just if you observe this particular graph the, i discussed this particular graph in my previous lecture isn't it after 4 just see this is after 4 at after 4 your kernel value becoming zero up to up to 4 up to 4 still It, it 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 still have some value isn't it up to 4 still it have some value this is for sigma equal to 1 for sigma equal to 1 even if the distance between two points is equal to two units on x axis what we are taking on x axis we are taking distance isn't it if if the distance between two points is two units just say if the distance for what is this case this case is related to sigma equal to 1 for sigma equal to 1 even if the distance between two points is equal to 2 units i still have let's see i still have some similarity between them if sig if i reduce this value from sigma equal to we are reducing value from sigma equal to 1 to 0.1 what's ha what is happening if i reduce sigma equal to 1 to 0.1 this is this is a graph related to sigma equal to 0.1 let me show this graph separately let me go back to the my previous slide yes just see this is sigma equal to 1 sigma equal to 1 rbf uh, uh, graph what it says this is this distance is 1 this one is dis minus 1 isn't it what does it mean if distance is greater than 1 just see if distance is it's a zero if distance distance is greater than 1 then your kernel value on y axis you have kernel value similarity function your kernel value is equal to 0 in similar manner if your distance is less than minus 1 then what is your kernel value my kernel just see this side your kernel value is 0 just observe this graph carefully so that you can differentiate between the curves Of for sigma equal to one and sigma equal to point one. Let me take other value of sigma. Let me say I am taking sigma equal to ten. If I take sigma equal to ten, what is my sigma square? Sigma square equal to hundred. This is two sigma square. I am keeping hundred in the place of sigma square. If I plot it, what will you get? Just see this width. This width width increased. Width increased means i can accommodate more number of points what does it mean if distance on x axis what am i taking distance if distance is greater than 10 just see after 10 just see after 10 it is not this value is zero less the after greater than 10 your kernel on x, on y axis i am taking rbf kernel after 10 it has got zero less than minus 10 also it is zero that's what it says if distance greater than 10 kernel value zero in similar manner if distance less than 10 also your kernel value just see your kernel value is zero if you think about it logically what is happening just say this one as i told you we are taking distance on x axis and kernel there is another name for kernel is similarity on y axis this is the graph for sigma equal to 10 this is a graph for sigma equal to 1 this is the graph for sigma equal to 0.1 if you observe this one for sigma equal to 0.1 you have more peakedness 
more peakedness isn't it what about this sigma equal 10 it, you have wider one you have wider graph means you can accommodate many points in the case of sigma equal 10 whereas you can accommodate very less points for sigma equal to sigma equal to 0.1 what does it mean as sigma increases just see let let me explain, explain this one, one like, like this, this. Just see. Sigma, sigma increases sigma, sigma increases, increases means what let, let me consider as sigma, sigma increases this, this is sigma equal to point 0.1 one. here you, you have small, small window just see sigma equal point 0.1 means, means you can accommodate only less number of points your, your window size is small therefore you can accommodate less number of points you can accommodate you have similarity value only in this place here similarity value is zero here similarity is zero you cannot take these points you, you cannot, cannot take this point. point. Similarity, Similarity is zero. zero. You, you can, can discard, discard these points. points. Only this portion. portion. Only small portion. portion. You, you can accommodate points in only in small portion. portion. For, For example, sigma equal to one. You have this window size little, little, little bit bigger. Just see. Sigma equal to one means you can you can accommodate you can accommodate more number of points. Similarity value is greater than zero. Whereas your similarity is zero here. Just see. Your yeah, similarity is outside of this particular window. You, you cannot, cannot accommodate those, those points. points. For, For example, sigma equal 10, 10, you are getting you are getting big window. Just see. You, can, you can accommodate more number of points, which has got some similarity value here. But outside of this similarity is zero. Your window size is increasing for sigma equal 10. Isn't it? Similarity, I can say, I can say, just see this one. Let me say like this. Yes. Similar, dissimilarity, distance, distance. They are dissimilarity and distance, they are of same meaning. Similarity and kernel, they are, they are, they are of same meaning. Similarity and distance are opposite of each other. If you think, if you think about it, this is somewhat like your, uh, this, uh, this RBF kernel is somewhat like K nearest neighborhood. In KN, in K nearest neighbor, what happens? You will take K nearest to points. In, 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 K, in KNN, you always take nearest to K points, isn't it? In KNN, what will you take? Nearest to K points. Nearest to K points. If K is large, you can take more number of points. Here also, if sigma is large, you can take more number of points. There is, I can say there is a nice approx, there is a nice relationship between KNN and RBF kernel. As sigma increases in RBF, as sigma increases in RBF, in RBF kernel, as sigma increases in RBF, it is equivalent to increase, it is equivalent to increase K in KNN. Means if you if you increase k, you can take more number of neighborhoods. If you increase sigma, you can take more number of points. You can accommodate more number of points. Just see, let me let me say like this. Just see here. Just see, this is this is just like uh, uh, this is just like large k. Sigma equal to ten means what? Large k in k n. n. Sigma equal to zero point one means small k. This is small k in isn't it as sigma increases you can accommodate more number of points in similar manner as just it is sigma is similar to sigma in rbf kernel is similar to k in knn why because if sigma increases in rbf kernel you can accommodate more number of points like this just see as sigma increases you can accommodate more number of points sigma decreases just see sigma decreases i can accommodate small few number of points just in k and n also if k increases i can take more number of neighbors if k decreases i can take few number of points intuitively if you think about it rbf svm i can say like this intuitively if you think about it rbf intuitively if you think about it rbf svm is similar is similar to knn the sigma sigma in rbf is similar to k in knn rbf is rbf kernel is similar to knn because of sigma rbf kernel we said it is general purpose and most popular kernel because it is similar to k nearest neighborhood remember recall knn is not very good for large data sets if you recall knn 
is all about what you do in KNN, you need to store all the K points. In the case of RBF SVM, it is very simple. You just need to have your support vectors, your support vectors and corresponding alpha. That, that is the basic uh, difference between uh, KNN and uh, RBF kernel. Biggest drawback of KNN is runtime complexity because you, you need to store all the K points whereas in RBF SVM we are storing only support vectors. Generally what is the support vectors? Support vectors support vectors is less than or equal to n where n is total number of points. Your RBF SVM is nice approximation to KNN, isn't it? RBF SVM your RBF SVM is nice approximation to KNN. What is the reason? RBF kernels are used as, let me, let me say like this, your RBF SVM is nice approximation to KNRS neighborhood algorithm and hence RBF kernels are used as general purpose kernels. So if you don't know the best kernel to use, if you don't know which kernel to use, just simply use RBF kernel. When you are using RBF support vector missions, you have two hyperparameters. What are those hyperparameters? Just let me write this. Let me say RBF SVM. In SVM, soft margin SVM, you have parameter C. C, C is a parameter. In RBF, you have parameter, hyperparameter, I can say. This C comma sigma are known as hyperparameters. Hyperparameters, isn't it? You, when you are using RBF SVM, you have two hyperparameters. This sigma is related to RBF, C is related to soft margin SVM. C comma sigma, this can be this can be calculated with the help of something like uh, grid search, or I can say grid search or I can say random search. We will try to understand what is grid search, what is random search, time being just understand. If you make use RBF SVM, I need two parameters. Why? Because sigma is a parameter which is coming from radial basis function RBF, C is a parameter which is coming from sub soft margin SVM. Just go through this lecture. If you have any uh, difficulty, just please keep a comment. Anyway, in the case of why we are writing, we can compute f of x q means once if you know support vector missions, uh, once if you know alpha is, uh, I can always ca calculate f of x um, q, f of x q that is y q. Depending on y q, I can keep uh, um, uh, class I can assign some uh, I can conclude in which class I can keep that query point x q. It is simple and straightforward lecture just go through just try to compare just try to correlate your uh, RBF kernel with k nearest neighborhood algorithm as I told you k in the k nearest neighborhood algorithm that k is similar to uh, sigma in RBF kernel. Thank you very much.